Rod TV 65 presents the Historical Meridian Series, Mayor Percy Bland. Meridian is the sixth largest city in the state of Mississippi. It is the county seat of Lauderdale County and the principal city of the Meridian, Mississippi Metropolitan Statistical Area. Along major highways, the city is 93 miles east of Jackson, Mississippi, 154 miles southwest of Birmingham, Alabama, 202 miles northeast of New Orleans, Louisiana, and 231 miles southeast of Memphis, Tennessee. Established in 1860 at the junction of the Mobile and Ohio Railroad and Southwest Railroads of Mississippi, Meridian built an economy based on the railways and goods transported on them, and it became a strategic trading center. During the American Civil War, General William Sherman burned much of the city to the ground in the Battle of Meridian in February of 1864. Rebuilt after the war, the city entered a golden age. It became the largest city in Mississippi between 1890 and 1930 and a leading center for manufacturing in the South with 44 trains arriving and departing daily. Union Station, built in 1906, is now a multimodal center with access to Amtrak and Greyhound buses. Although the economy slowed with the decline of the railroad industry, the city has diversified with healthcare, military, and manufacturing. The population within the city limits is 40,000 and it is the sixth largest city in Mississippi. The city is well known for its entertainment and eating establishments. People from all over the United States come to visit Meridian, Mississippi. The area is served by two military facilities, Naval Air Station Meridian and Key Field, which employs over 4,000 people. NAS Meridian is home to the Regional Counter Drug Training Academy and the first local Department of Homeland Security in the state. Key Field is named after the brothers Fred and Al, who set world endurance flight records in 1935. The field is now home to the 186th Air Refueling Wing of the Air National Guard and support a facility for the 185th Aviation Brigade of the Army National Guard. Downtown Meridian gives one that old hometown feeling of the South with great hospitality. Percy Bland was born in Crystal Springs, Mississippi on September 23, 1970. Bland grew up in Jackson, Mississippi and attended St. Joseph High School. Bland later earned a B.S. in chemistry at Xavier University of Louisiana of New Orleans and played collegiate basketball. Bland also earned a Master's of Public Health degree at the University of Southern Mississippi. Bland went on to work for the Fulton County Health Department in Atlanta, Georgia, where he served as an ophthalmologist in the Tuberculosis Control Department. Bland met his wife Deidre in Atlanta and the couple was married on August 15, 1999. Bland returned to Mississippi and began employment as the Human Resources Director and Marketing Director with G.A. Carmichael Family Health Center. Bland came to Meridian to own and operate a state farm insurance agency where he continues to run and manage, which is a very successful insurance agency in the state of Mississippi. In 2007, Bland served as co-chair to pass a bond issue for the first major renovations and improvements to Meridian's public schools in more than 20 years. The bond issue was for $19.5 million. The bond issue passed on March 27, 2007 with 71.3% voter approval. Bland also helped establish the Magnolia Youth Sports Association and still runs his own summer basketball camp. Bland helped establish the first tee golf program in Meridian, the first in the state, a golf program aimed at improving the quality of life of primarily inner city children. On 
On June 4, 2013, Percy Bland won the election for mayor of Meridian, Mississippi by 54% of the vote, defeating the incumbent mayor, Sherry Berry, who happened to be the first female mayor of Meridian, Mississippi also. Before he took office, Bland formed a 29-member transition team from the community to study five issues, education, community development, public safety, infrastructure and city partnerships, and make recommendations about how to more improve those areas in Meridian. Bland was sworn in as the first African-American mayor of the city of Meridian on July 1st, 2013. During the first city council meeting of the new administration, Bland proposed a livable wage policy. Bland proposed a $9 an hour minimum salary for all city employees that were to be funded by money saved through cuts to other areas of the municipal budget. Bland's livable wage proposal became the city's policy when the city council passed the municipal budget on September 17, 2013. Bland and several local businessmen began recognizing an outstanding teacher or staff member from two Meridian Public School District schools a month during the 2013-14 school year. Improvements to public safety were made to the newly annexed part of Meridian through a new warning siren at the recently constructed fire station in that area. Meridian youth sports were brought together through one comprehensive program in the Meridian Parks and Recreation Department. The program brought in more mentors, more coaches, more churches, as partners for the, for the city of Meridian to work with youth through athletics. In May of 2014, the city of Meridian pledged $750,000 to help build a new community center. In May of 2014, the city of Meridian launched a series of new programs to help fight crime in the city, including a new gang task force, a new team of Meridian police officers and citizens to help with the tips on crime, and penalizing parents when their children do not comply with the Mississippi Compulsory School Attendance Laws. In June of 2014, Bland built a team to bring a new airline carrier to Meridian. American Airlines, the largest airline carrier in the world, brings their services to Meridian under the American Eagle brand. Express Jet will operate the services for American Airlines. In September of 2014, Bland began a major initiative to raise awareness of school attendance and the dangers of dropping out of high school. Through his major youth council, Bland created a public service announcement that emphasized issues that high school students face, such as bullying, drugs, and depression. Bland continued his work on improving the city of Meridian by getting a grant approved of worth $600,000 for community development to help fund a new community center in the city's east end that would accommodate up to 400 children. In 2015, Bland and Choctaw Tribal Chief Phyllis J. Anderson signed an agreement to restore public transportation in Meridian. The Choctaw Regional Transportation Facility operates more than a dozen counties in Mississippi. The buses that will be used in Meridian is handicapped accessible and can seat up to 29 people. Later on that year, Bland in cooperation with Commissioner Dick Hall of the Mississippi Department of Transportation and Meridian Public School officials opened a federally funded safe routes to school bridges at T.J. Harris Lower Elementary School. In 2016, city officials unanimously approved a resolution that authorized and directed the issue of general obligations bonds for $7.5 million. The bond will provide funds for the construction and improvement of paving streets, sidewalks, driveways, parkways, walkways, bridges, culverts, public parking facilities, and other municipal projects. Meridian city officials, along with Mayor Bland, and community members and leaders held a groundbreaking ceremony for Velma Young Community Center. The $2 million project is the first project that brought together the city of Meridian, Lauderdale County, Meridian Housing Authority, and East Mississippi development for their predominantly African American projects. Mayor Bland and the City Council passed resolution and ordinances setting a date in August for a referendum of a 2% food and beverage levy at restaurants within the City of Meridian. Revenue from the levy would fund construction equipment, furnishing and operation of the Mississippi Arts and Education Center. The referendum passed with 68.2% of the vote.
In June of 2017, Mayor Bland won a second term against two opponents, Independent Dustin Markham and Republican William Compton. Mayor Bland received 64% of the vote. Markham received 34% and Compton received 2%. Mayor Bland has been at the forefront of the COVID fight here in the city of Meridian, as well as through the state of Mississippi. He's crossed both party lines to make sure that everyone has been involved. This even included working with Republican Governor Tate Reeves, as well as Dr. Deborah Burtz, who leads or is a part of the COVID federal program. Percy Bland has been a major stalwart in the community prior to even becoming mayor. Whether it's in Lauderdale County or the surrounding counties or in the city of Meridian, when it comes to the community, Percy Bland is well known. Whether it was through his work with State Farm, his work in the classrooms, his work through donations and supporting causable organizations. His support of Meridian Finest in the entertainment world. His support in the Housing Authority. His constant interaction with you. And just with the everyday citizen. Percy Bland has been a major impact in the community, and this will continue throughout his tenure. We'll wrap this video up with a few of the accomplishments, not all, that Mayor Bland has put in place that will go down as a tremendous effort and improvement in moving the city of Meridian forward. So let's take a look at some of those accomplishments. He restored the three foot building. He's brought new hotels and restaurants in. Fighting for funds to ensure funding for the homeless. Job fair partnerships with Governor's Job Fair Networks. Public transportation restored through agreements with Mississippi Ban of Choctaw Indians. U.S. Department of Transportation approval of American Eagle Air Carrier for the Meridian Regional Airport. $600,000 matching grant to construct the Velma Young Community Center. Seven state grants totaling $440,000 for the Meridian Lauderdale Public Safety Training facility. The facility trained over 1,600 Homeland Security students in 2014. Two police substations added as part of the Crime Prevention Initiative. He established the Gang Task Force. First mark of 18 mark of civil rights trails unveiled during the Freedom Summer Observation Week. The trails mark were placed at the intersection of 25th Street and 5th Street and provides information about the African American Business District. Office Next Door Program, in cooperation with the Meridian Housing Authority and Meridian Police Department, offers our, so are offered housing and some housing developments. New businesses. He's brought in new businesses. The Mississippi Arts and Entertainment Experience, which is looked at as one of the premier arts and entertainment centers in the United States. A number of new restaurants brought into the area, just to name a few, Nukes. Shipley's Donuts, IHOP, Kicking Crab, Jack's, Crystals. Retail, brought in a Hobby Lobby retail during the COVID-19 crisis, which was huge. Uh, this particular location, uh, right in the heart of the COVID-19 uh, epidemic uh, or pandemic started 
uh, there was questions on why would it be built, would it open up, uh, but it did, and it's a truly thriving business here in Meridian, Mississippi. And you always got to bring in the fun. Uh, he brought in the Height uh, Entertainment Center at the Benita Lake Mall in Meridian, Mississippi, which uh, even during the uh, pandemic here, uh, if you go there, you see kids from all over the place uh, and adults. Uh, very good entertainment there that he brought in. World-class fitness centers such as Fitness Depot and Planet Fitness as well as a couple of newer hotels, uh, the True Hilton and Drury Inn Suites have been brought in also. So that wraps it up for this historical Meridian series on Mayor Percy Blair. Uh, we wish him continued success. Uh, it looks like he's going to have a bright future, whether he continues on as mayor or if he wants to do something else. Uh, in the political world. He's already successful as a business. So thank you for watching this series. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more historical Meridian series.